Hi, you guys. Well, I thought I would do an unboxing today. I was sent something and I want to use it to call some attention out over what this designer's kind of been inspired by. Okay, but we'll get into that in a minute. So here's the box. There's a little hint on the box. Find, oh, sorry, <laughs> for some of the uh, inspiration behind the design. Let me open it. Oh, how cool. Let's see. Look. It's cool, isn't it? Open this up. The box. A card. Ooh. I love cards. All right. Let's see what it says. Especially for you. Thank you. Greetings, Dana. We hope you enjoy our patent pending BT Lux TP bag. Talk soon. All right. I sure will. I love a bag. Especially this kind of bag. Let's see what this is. This way. All right. What do we have here? Oh, look. Wow. <gasps> look at it. Isn't that neat? I've never seen a bag shaped like this before. Check that out. Ooh. I'll have to open it for you guys, but let me see. I feel something else in here. I'll have to take a fashion picture with these. Let's see what else we got. Oh, wow, look at this, and brown. So a black version of the bag and a brown version. Take a look at this. Wow, this is so cool. Look at the logo, so beautifully designed. And look how neat. Can you put your stuff in there? What's inside? The TP handbag collection. Here's more information about the bags, the TP handbag collection. So I've been having fun just seeing how the bag works and operates. Like you can open it this way and take your item out of it. They sent me a black one too, so I could choose. It's like a smaller version of the bag. Look, a mini one. And you can keep stuff in the pockets. They have like secret pockets in the bag. Look like a big space. So you could put your phone in here and then, you know, you could put your money and stuff in this compartment. And they're separate. There are two separate compartments. That's really cool. What a neat design. And look, I'm in good company in receiving this bag. The attachment is a picture from Getty Images of indigenous actress Janae Collins. Her most recent film was Martin Scorsese's Killers of the Flower Moon. And here she is with the bag on the red carpet. Look at Miss Collins. She looks stunning. That's her on the red carpet for the Critics' Choice Awards. And there she is holding the bag. I love it. So this handbag was named after the designer's daughter, Sage Lee. She was the designer's miracle daughter. Her father actually participated in annual sun dances. If you don't know what that is, you should Google it. But basically, a group of Indians still get together and they dance and with each step they pray. And so her daughter was like a miracle baby because there was a really horrific incident that happened to the designer and she thought she wasn't going to get to keep her baby. And then after the sun dance, it was like magic and her baby was okay and everything worked out beautifully. So again, Indian magic, super powerful. So I love these bags because they reminded me of the Red Dress Project, which is a special project where like 30 plus dresses were hung in a forest to symbolize the issue surrounding indigenous women being more abused than any other women, going missing and not uh, found, 
um, abuse, sex trafficking related to indigenous women and the federal government, because a lot of this happens on reservations or in communities uh, that are kind of their own jurisdiction, they don't necessarily follow up with pursuing these cases. And obviously any time you go over a state line or uh, any jurisdictional line, like in the case of a reservation, which is obviously its own Indian nation state in a sense, uh, you know, it's very difficult to have a cohesive uh, investigation. And so often these women are hurt because of it. And frankly, uh, the system's broken regarding following up with these types of incidences. So Smithsonian Magazine wrote about this, if you want to check it out uh, a long time ago. It has a lot of statistics in it. These haunting red dresses memorialize murders and missing indigenous women. Okay, I'm going to show you some pictures of me in the bag in a second, but one more thing I want to tell you. This comes from the U.S. Government Accountability Office because, unfortunately, I want you guys to know that the government is still dropping the ball in a lot of the initiatives that even just back in 2021 they set out to do to try to help this problem. They actually call this problem an absolute crisis. I know you probably are like, I've never heard of it. Well, exactly. Okay, here we go. Uh, fast facts. Research shows that violence against American Indian and Alaskan Native women in the U.S. is a crisis. Cases of missing or murdered indigenous women persist nationwide. Also trafficking, you guys. Speaking of Diddy recently. But without more comprehensive case data in federal databases, the full extent of the problem is unknown. Two 2020 laws have requirements that could help address aspects of the crisis, depending on how the Department of Justice and Interior implement them, but the agencies have missed some of the requirement deadlines. <sighs> Great. For example, they have not yet set up a joint commission to explore the issue. Not even a joint commission has been set up. This is 2021 that this was uh, written. We recommended developing plans to implement the requirements and more. And then they show talk about the art installation. This is a real problem, you guys. You cannot believe how many deep dive stories I've done where the U.S. government has stepped in and they're like, we've got you, we'll protect you. And then they get screwed over again, the Indian population. And we should care about this because number one, their Indian reservations are our neighbors in uh, many communities. And most of our ancestors come from some sort of Indian heritage. You know what I'm saying? Cherokee or otherwise. I really wanted to mention this in conjunction with this bag. Just me. All right, let me show you some pictures of me with the bag. There's me in my studio office. And look, I didn't even plan it. And look, my dream catcher, which I keep on my door to protect me and keep my thoughts positive, is in the background. And I didn't even intend that. Look, and I'm wearing fringe Christian Louboutin shoes with the bag because it matched it so perfect. Look, there's the Sage Lee brown bag. I mean, it really both look really great. I love the color of the brown one because it's, it's like an unusual color. There's the black. All right, you guys. Well, thank you so much for this fun unboxing. I had a ball. <laughs>